you know, achieve our dreams and achieve our goals this year. That you know, we got to pick up our game, and I don't think we skip the beat yet on offense. You know, JT came in and he's executed really well, and uh, I have confidence he'll continue to do that. You know, this Saturday. Do you like having leadership for a kid that young? Absolutely. You know, he's he's always had that um, those characteristics coming in. He's always been, uh, you know, someone who. You no, know, even in the off season, you know, he's always been the first guy, um, first quarterback. You know, finishing first and like you know the runs. Um, you know, he's attacking the weights in the weight room. You know, you want you want to see a guy like that take over an offense. That, you know, that just gives you a little bit more trust in him. Having spent some time around him, like you talked about earlier, have you noticed any changes in him since Braxton went down and you know he kind of became the starter? You know, he, he always take, he's he's always kind of taking the same approach, even you know when he uh, stepped up to the starting spot. And um, you know, he he understands what he's got to do, and uh, he's got that right mindset. And so, you know, that's easy for all of us to have confidence in him. You know, when you got a quarterback like that, he's got that mindset, who uh, you know understands what he needs to do, and you know, studies the game and you know executes it to his fullest ability. What do you remember about? the first time you ever played in a college football game, how you felt before that game, and then how you felt when you got on the field for the first time? I mean, yeah, there, there was there was obviously some nerves there, you know, but more of it was just excitement, exciting nerves. And, uh, you know, once once you go out there for that first play and make that first hit, or, you know, at that first snap, those nerves kind of just settle down, and that's when you get comfortable. Um, but now for me, it's like, you know, I've been in a situation, and, you know, I've been in some uh, hostile environments, and. You know, after a while, you kind of understand how to, you know, handle that stuff. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, for JT, you know, this is really his first collegiate game he's playing. Um, there's obviously probably going to be some nerves there for him, but, you know, he, I think as long as he carries that approach from practice to the games, I think we'll be all right. How important will it be for some of the older guys to help him, you know, in huddle? I mean, I know you said he's a leader and, and all that, but just, you know, those first few snaps, like you said, there's going to be some nerves to help calm him down. Is that, you know, your guy's responsibility once you get out there to just oh, make sure he's he's all in? Absolutely. You know, even in practice, you know, you know, when we're huddling up before we take the field as an offense, um, you know, we're, we're, we just stay positive in the huddle. You know, we're always picking each other up. It's like, all right, let's get this, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, we're always positive with him. You know, we understand that. Um, you know, he, he is under the spotlight a little bit, and um, you know, we just want to help him up, help him as, as much as we can with that. You know, dealing with that. How have you seen him react to if he, you know, makes an errant throw or has a bad practice or you know any of the growing pains that kind of come with starting your college career? How does he generally react to that? You know, that's, that's what happens. You know, practice. You know, you're you're going to make mistakes, and in practice. Uh, for him, it's understanding, you know, why he made that mistake and how he can, uh, you know, improve on that. And, you know, he's taking a great approach to it. You know, he's back there. Even when he's not in, he's back there with Coach Herman, just, you know, trying to, you know, talk over some plays, understand what he can do better if he did make a mistake. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's doing all the steps he needs to, you know, do to, you know, be prepared for this game. I think you guys had this brotherhood trust thing going before the season, this leadership training <coughs> coming in and sort of all to prepare you guys to be able to handle it versus the veteran. And you don't know when it's going to happen. It turns out it happened before a game is played. Do you guys feel like because of all that off-season stuff, the leadership training and, and the small unit of cohesion that Coach has talked about, are you guys, do you feel like you guys are pretty well equipped to handle this? I think we are. Um, you know, I think when practice went down, it actually kind of made this team tighter. And uh, you know that's one thing special about this team that uh, you know everybody is just it's just a, it's just a tight knit group, and uh, we understand you know you know if someone makes a mistake we're gonna we're, we're there to pick them up, um, and we also know that we have confidence in that the guy next to us, the guy to our right and left, is gonna do their job, and uh, you know so I think you know learning about that you know kind of helped with all that, and you know with JT coming in. Um, you know, we we got all the trust in him, and you know, we're ready for him to take over the offense. Evan Spencer was saying, you know, with JT there, the offense isn't like drastically different or anything that it would be. It's just more opportunities. I mean, you were talking about being a, uh, a veteran guy, um, helping him along, but he was saying making plays. It's more opportunities for other. Braxton made so many plays on his own. Right. Now it's other guys. Do you? Sense that with this offense, that that's what could be different is there's more playmakers and our fans going to notice a lot more 
more guys getting involved, uh, I guess, with the offense this year? Yeah, I think uh, with JT, you're not going to see as much as a uh, much as a looseness you are with, you know, Braxton, you know, running out of pocket and stuff. You know, he's going to sit in a pocket and uh, he's going to look, you know, do his reads, you know, and find the open receiver. And, uh, you know, even in the spring, or even like, you know, in the fall, I'm sorry, in the fall, you know, he's, he's done a really good job with that. Um, you know, staying in the pocket, you know, he's been really comfortable just, you know, looking downfield, finding his receivers and, you know, making a you know, hell of a throw. Nick, you, you guys are going to have so a far. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, two more sorry, questions uh, for Nick. I want to ask you about Marcus Ball. Um, even if, you know, if Jeff's a little banged up, obviously you're going to be the starter. Maybe Marcus might need to play a little more than people expected. What have you seen out of the young tight end so far? Oh, man, he's, he's really stepped his game up. And uh, he understands that, you know, coming in his redshirt freshman year, you know, he had some hiccups his first year. He's learned from it. Um, he's overcame it. And, you know, he's, he's playing really hard lately. I know he's got a little hamstring. He's kind of fighting right now. But, um, you know, he's he's basically you know what you want uh, in your backup tight end. You know, that's what's what he's providing right now. And and is Sam uh, Hubbard back with you guys? No, he's not. He's still at linebacker. Would be back nice back. though, but that's <laughs> all right. So you may get 80 plays. That's cool. They got they got 10 linebackers. I guess that's all they need. We, we have three tight ends. We don't need any more. We're good. <laughs> you, know, you might get 80 plays in. Okay. Hey, Nick, yeah, something know, like that. You got a, you got a new Last starting question. quarterback. You've got four new starting offensive linemen. Uh, Jeff is banged up, you know, a little bit and stuff. May or may not be able to go 100%. Uh, wide receivers. Who knows who's going to play? You're starting running back or number one running back has a broken bone. Is why should people believe y'all are going to be clicking on offense on Saturday? Man, just because we have so many threats and you know we have so many guys just rotating in with the ones and uh, you know getting those reps and that's what it's all about. You know, you know when you get those reps, you know you get more comfortable and you know once guys get more of those reps, uh, you know it's easy for them to just you know go in the game and feel comfortable and. Um, so I think, you know, with guys, you know, having injuries, you know, a lot for other guys to step up and uh, show what they're capable of doing. Follow up the question that. You guys are playing your opener on the road. We talked about that a while ago, but you're playing in a pro football stadium. Does that add to the excitement? What, what does that do for you guys? Obviously, you've played in a, several pro football stadiums in the last few years. But right. What does it, what does it kind of add to the atmosphere, in your opinion? Um, I mean, we're not really too worried about it. We're more focused about, you know, Facing Navy, you know, coming out with the W, um, you know, we've we've done really well preparing for them, <clears throat> and uh, you know, like we said, you know, it's game week, so it's finally here. We're excited. We just want to, you know, we want Saturday to be here right now so we can play.